Historic Lighthouses of Mississippi Coast. At one time, there were seven or eight lighthouses on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Today, there's only one original and three that were rebuilt or relocated. Let's go down that road. Faithful people, I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. And we're not in Mississippi anymore. <laughs> but we've been wanting to get this video up and tell you a little bit about the different um, historical lighthouses. Many of them were damaged from hurricanes, obviously, but some were even by fire. It's interesting to know how some of them were used, even, like in war times. It was fascinating. Anyway, we, uh, we found one that was the original, and the others were either rebuilt or relocated after they were refurbished. So there's been uh, not too much, the rest of them are all gone, they were destroyed. A lot of new building here. And just back there was a museum called Ground Zero Hurricane Museum. Those all look pretty new. So the old lighthouse must have been damaged and they built a new one. And I think that's it right there. Waveland, Mississippi. Brand new lighthouse as of around 2019 is when it opened. Oh, and look, there's a wonderful pier we could walk on. And look at the beach, it's all white sand. Yeah. Looking for a place to park. This is across from the lighthouse. This is the way you build your houses when you live in hurricane country. This beautiful white beach, it goes all the way down there. And this Veterans Memorial, that pier. Oh, somebody's flying a kite, that's neat. The lighthouse. Had houses here before one of the hurricanes. I don't know which hurricane destroyed it all. And then these over across the way here are much newer. Oh, let's go out on that pier. I love that kite. Oh, that's so big. That is huge. I bet that's huge. Bigger than you. A little bit better view.
Captain. That looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> It kind of looks like they rebuilt it and haven't opened it yet. You think? Hmm. They want to make this, this whole thing kind of an art district with the pier, I think, for fishing and then different art things around here and maybe, maybe straight ahead is where they have some ideas for that. Maybe up on that part that we can't get to because it's closed. That's a big area right there in front. Well, let's go find some more lighthouses. There's plenty of them on this coast. And yeah, there's plenty of sunshine, too. Nice. <laughs> A little chilly yet today. It's in the 60s, but better than, feels good. better than the 40s <laughs> and 30s. <laughs> There was a house back there built in 1848. Gulfport, Mississippi. We did a video on this once. <laughs> Turn and left onto Gulfport Harbor Street. It was a stormy day and windy, cold. And in the background, I was taking Gary's picture and a lightning strike behind him, and he didn't know it. Your destination will be on the right. But yeah, we got out of there real quick. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, this is uh, where my dad was stationed for a while in the in World War II, Gulfport, Mississippi. This lighthouse is called Ship Something. <laughs> ship. It's coming up. Where is it? Ship. Ship Island. Ship Island. And this is another one that I don't believe is a original. This one is a memorial, more so. A lot of this was rebuilt after hurricanes too.
Can you imagine living in that? I don't know if they lived in it. That's awfully small. It says it was tended by them. This is the Biloxi Visitor Center. We're going to see if it's open. This plaque is dedicated to bring awareness to the surge and high water levels from Hurricane Katrina and Hurricane Camille. Both storms brought about great devastation and loss of life to the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Hurricane Katrina made landfall on the Gulf Coast on August 29, 2005 at 10 a.m. The storm surge level at this location was 22 feet above mean sea level with reported waves reaching 34.1 feet. There was approximately $125 billion of damage to the coast, leaving 236 people dead and 67 missing. Hurricane Camille made landfall on August 17, 1969 at about 11.30 p.m. Oh, it'd be coming in at night. The storm surge level at this location was at 19.5 feet. There were approximately $1.5 billion of damage to the coast, leaving one 131 dead and 41 missing and the uh, markers are over here the blue marker is uh, Camille and the red marker was Katrina that's how high the water came from over there We got our Mardi Gras beads. <laughs> the lady at the visitor center said take one of each color. The purple stands for justice. The green stands for faith. And the gold stands for power. Interesting. And she was telling me all about Mardi Gras. I said we don't celebrate that too much up in Wisconsin. Mm. 
They sure do down here. After Hurricane Katrina, that lighthouse was the only thing standing in this whole area. All the houses, everything was devastated and, and uh, completely destroyed. So that is a rebuilt home there, the, the visitor center. And they did some work on her uh, to restore her. But yeah, she, she was the only thing standing. They had an American flag hanging from her afterwards. And we found out at the visitor center that the family did not live in there. It's pretty much just a stairwell going up to the top and for maintenance and all those kinds of things that they had to do. And the house was actually next to it, but that's gone. That would be an amazing tiny house. <laughs> I, I, yeah, that'd be something with all the stairs in there and everything taking up all the space. Yeah. <laughs> found out that is not a working lighthouse. It's just there. <laughs> there was one more and it was called Round Island Lighthouse. And it was in a town called Pas Pascagoula. Pas Pascagoula. Sounds like goulash. Yeah. <laughs> For whatever reason, and we don't know what happened that day, we can't remember. It was only like a week ago. <laughs> but we can't remember what happened and why we didn't go to that one. I think it was a little out of the way, but it wasn't that much, so we're really bummed that we missed that. Then after that, we drove through Alabama and the, just the very southern part of it. And what we're hoping to do is to go back there. I wanna go see more of Orange Beach it sounds like a really pretty place. We went to Fort Morgan. It was getting close to closing time and I had someone calling on, on the phone that wasn't, it was a family member and it was one of those that's like, <laughs> it, it, okay, people are more important than things. So we didn't go into the fort, but it, I do have some pictures of it that I'm putting across here while we're talking. There was a fishing pier and you could obviously fish off of it but you could also see some of the yeah. oil rigs anyway orange beach is not as popular as gulf shores and that's kind of part of the reason part of the draw of wanting to go back there before we go up to wisconsin again you'll find out where we are in future videos so if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do that by clicking on that button down below the red button down below it's free and then um, after that, a little bell is going to pop up. Ring the bell and you'll be notified every time new videos come up. If you don't ring the bell, you won't be notified. Check out our Facebook page because there's some other places that we've been that are just on Facebook and they're not in a video. Thanks for watching. And until next time, God bless. Yeah.